Hey everyone, it's Presley at actoutgames.com here, and today we will be dissecting a starfish. So I hung out with my friends and we watched a video on how to dissect a starfish, which the link will be in the description too, and we dissected a whole starfish and it was really, really fun. So a starfish is an echinoderm, which is a phylum of marine animals. And this here is the aboral surface where all the spiky and stuff that you see when you're looking at a starfish, like at the aquarium. Is, and this is the oral surface where, because the mouth is right here, it has lots of little tube feet all over. So a starfish is radially symmetrical, which is cutting down a plane resembles a pie that you can cut into identical segments like flower petals. You could cut through any of the arms and they would be symmetrical on both sides because they are radially symmetrical. So if you cut the starfish in half, as long as there's some of the ring canal, and at least one leg, then the starfish will be able to live and kind of regenerate itself. So each starfish could become two, three, four starfish, as long as you have a ring canal and a leg. In the dissection video, the guy who's dissecting tells a story about how people were mad at the starfish because they're eating all their clams, because they're collecting clams to eat and stuff. So they chopped them in half and threw them out into the ocean, which didn't kill them, it multiplied them since there's still a ring canal and leg, so there's just more starfish to eat all their clams. Bad idea. So we're gonna start dissecting the starfish. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to cut off the tip of one of, one of the starfish legs, which I am using this one because it is both straight and long, which makes for a good starfish leg. And then there should be a hollow place where you're going to stick your scissors inside of the starfish. So I'm cutting it on the side and then I'm going to go around my Magiporite and come back and cut the rest of the skin. So I can just lift off the flap and see what's inside of the leg. So these are the parts of a starfish. So the Magiporite on this starfish is right there. The Magiporite connects to the stone canal and this big ringy thing is the ring canal which has a stomach in the middle of it and the stomach and mouth in the middle of it but I removed that so I can stick my probe straight through the starfish, from, from the stomach through the mouth. Do, 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 do. And the stomach is kind of like a parachute. So when the starfish eat, it flips its stomach inside out and releases some of the digestive enzymes and liquefies some of the clam and then it pulls it back into its stomach, which is kind of creepy, but kind of a cool way to eat. But that would be just like, bleh, just barfing out your stomach. It will release some of the stomach acid, liquefy the thing, and that's how you eat. That would be really, really, really terrifying. Right here is the radial canal, and the radial can on right on the bottom of the radial canal is the tube feet, which are the way the starfish moves around. They're kind of like little suction cups. They go. So we sang a song about the water vascular system, so here's us singing it. So this is how the song goes if you didn't catch it. The madriporite's connected to the stone canal. The stone canal's connected to the ring canal. The ring canal's connected to the radio canal. The radio canal is connected to the two feet. And that's a water vascular system. So I learned a lot about starfish and I had an absolutely great time hanging out with my friends. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!